This video will demonstrate how to set up and run an analysis using an HPC cluster in ANSYS Gateway powered by AWS. For this example, we will be running a static structural analysis on the rear axle of a car with ANSYS Mechanical. The simulation will be defined on a virtual machine, and we will leverage the added computing power of an HPC cluster. All of this will be carried out entirely within ANSYS Gateway powered by AWS. To get started, we'll need to log into the ANSYS Gateway powered by AWS dashboard located at gateway.ansys.com. Next, we'll navigate to the desired project space and create a virtual desktop where we'll run our analysis. Click New Resource and select Virtual Desktop. Select the desired availability zone. It's best to choose one close to your geographic location. Click Next to proceed. On the following page, you have the option to specify a predefined template for your virtual desktop, but we won't be using one for this example. In the next step, we can define Windows Server 2019 as the operating system for the VM and proceed to select the applications to install. As we mentioned, we're going to be running ANSYS Mechanical, so let's install version 2023 R1. Our license server IP address for ANSYS Mechanical has already been set by our administrator in the main settings menu, so it is automatically populated when we add the application to the virtual desktop. Mozilla Firefox should also be installed because the default Windows browser is Internet Explorer, which is not supported by ANSYS Gateway, powered by AWS. Next, we'll choose our hardware configuration according to the recommendations for VDI workflows. The machine types listed here are well suited to running ANSYS Mechanical. Let's select a C6i.4x large instance and click Next. On this page, we'll set the local disk and type, as well as any additional data disk configurations. Once we've defined this, we can proceed to name the machine and review the machine settings. If everything looks good, we can click Create Virtual Desktop. Creating a new virtual machine typically takes between 20 to 30 minutes. We've sped things up here in the video in order to save some time. While the virtual machine is being created, we can make some adjustments to the settings. You can set various timers that will stop the VM if certain conditions are met. This can help avoid situations where the machine is left running unintentionally and thereby continues to incur charges. For example, you might want to define a timer to stop the machine if a user is offline for an extended time. A quick review of the virtual desktop settings shows us that everything is getting set up the way we defined. Next, we'll create the HPC cluster. Click New Resource HPC Cluster. It is recommended to choose the same availability zone as the virtual desktop we just defined. We then need to install ANSYS Mechanical RSM Cluster 2023R1 Service Pack 1. Make sure to select the version that leverages EFA. EFA, or Elastic Fabric Adapter, is a network interface for Amazon EC2 instances that enables customers to run applications requiring high levels of internode communications at scale on AWS. In the Dependencies section, click ANSYS Structures 2023R1 and add the license details if necessary. Click Next to configure the cluster hardware. After a quick look at the hardware recommendations, we can choose a C6i.24x large instance with 48 physical cores and 192 gigabytes of RAM. Note the number of virtual cores here is 96. This value will be used later when running the simulation. After selecting our storage, we can name the cluster, review the settings, and click Create HPC Cluster. As with the time required to create the virtual desktop instance, we've sped things up here as well. Once the VM and HPC cluster have been successfully created, you can connect to the virtual desktop by clicking Connect and launching the RDP file downloaded to your PC. After logging in, locate the file on which you will run the analysis and copy it to the local drive on the virtual machine. The option to map drives from your local PC to the virtual machine can be found in the settings menu of the ANSYS Gateway powered by AWS dashboard. 
Next, we need to connect the virtual desktop to the HPC cluster to take advantage of the additional computing power. Launch Firefox on the VM and log into Ansys Gateway powered by AWS. Locate the tile corresponding to the HPC cluster and click Connect. Use your credentials to log in. On the virtual desktop, launch Ansys Workbench and define your analysis. Double-click the model node to launch ANSYS Mechanical. In the Solve section of the toolbar, ensure that the HPC cluster is selected in the drop-down menu. Set the number of cores to use and click Solve. The number of cores listed here corresponds to the virtual cores we noted earlier when creating the HPC cluster. In order to leverage EFA, always use the maximum number of cores available on the cluster. If we check the job monitor, we can see that the job is running. To view the results of the analysis, navigate to the Details panel at the bottom left of the window and set Solution Output to Solver Output. Then, right-click Solution Information in the Physics tree and click Retrieve. Once the solution has converged, you can view the results. This concludes our demonstration on how to run an analysis using an HPC cluster in ANSYS Gateway powered by AWS.